You ready? All right, let's get started. Okay, Rockstar. You already know. I know you've seen some of the other reviews, but it's my turn. It's your boy, Ross Thompson. This bitch, you already know. You already know. I thought Justice League was good. There were a lot of scenes in the trailer that didn't make it to the movie and I didn't understand why until after I saw the movie, which we'll get to. I thought the special effects were a little mediocre for a movie of that magnitude. I didn't like Stephen Wolf. I didn't like the way he looked. I didn't like the fact that he was just your typical by the numbers villain. I also didn't like Batman in this. He was a very happy-ish Batman. I preferred the moody, grizzled Batman from Dawn of Justice. Aquaman, Flash and Cyborg all did their job, but I would have liked a bit more of backstory with those people. Wonder Woman A1, I can't say anything about you, Gal Gadot, you were just amazing. Guys, come here. Not so close, man. Back up a bit, back up a bit, back up a bit. Gal Gadot is A1. God damn! What I did love, spoiler territory, the way they portrayed Superman in this. That is who Superman needs to be. They did a reboot on his character, loved that. And they brightened up the colors. But forget all that, how does the 4K stack up? You got full screen in this bitch. Shot in 35 millimeter. Visual effects 2K, digital intermediate. From what I know, 2K. Dolby Atmos sound. Finally, a DC transfer done right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful transfer. Now, before I go further, let me point out that for the grain haters, including myself, there is film grain in this. There's no escaping it. We're gonna just have to make do with it. Is it as overpowering as Dawn of Justice? No, but it's there and it's noticeable. It is a huge upgrade from his 1080p counterpart, 100%. Do you know what this transfer does to the 1080p? No, what do they do? I'm gonna tell you, turn your ass around. It bends the 1080p over like this, yeah, and then it just... The detail of Aquaman's and Wonder Woman's armor. Yes, I was looking at Wonder Woman's armor. I wasn't just checking her out. A1. They need to do a who's who, the hottest chicks in 4K list, one more time. Batman's war, wear and tear in the outfit, very noticeable. Even extra detail on the flash is all there. You're not going to see it on the 1080p. When there is no green screen, depth is very nice. You can see great space between characters. Nice three-dimensional pop for a good two-thirds of this movie. Outdoor scenes, a lot of the film's climax. Black levels are also dark and inky throughout. This is a gorgeous transfer, guys. You may just come when you see this disc. I ain't gonna lie to you. But the CGI on this movie is trash. Now, when I mean trash, I mean ultra trash. Stefan Wolf looks horrible. When you see green screen, depth takes a huge hit there because you can very clearly tell you are watching green screen. Some of the visual effects are piss poor. I don't know what to say to you. No way around it, it is what it is. But irrespective of that, so you wanna know what the HDR is like? Very simple, Gal Gadot is your girlfriend. She loves you, she cares for you, she wants to have your babies, but guess what? She's in a Wonder Woman outfit all day long. It's a win-win. That's what the HDR is like. The HDR of this is second to none. Some of the best high dynamic range implementation I've ever seen. It is that good. The shimmering of armor, the explosions, sheen of the Batmobile. The final act of the movie, it's all about reds and oranges in this bitch. And guess what? It is blinding, it is vibrant, there is so much pop to this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hate you. People be saying I'm too hyper. Guess what? I'm local. It is crazy. HDR is a winner. Flesh tones are still natural looking, but everything else pops immensely. You tell your girl to go sit on the woof, see what happens. She's gonna love it. She may climax five, six times, I ain't gonna lie to you. She may orgasm so much sitting on that speaker. She may not even need your services for the whole month. It's that crazy. The sound on this is near enough reference. I'm gonna tell you something, you might not even want your girl to sit on that woofer. She may never come back. The panning, the vertical, horizontal, upright, rear sound are firing on all cylinders. You're gonna be looking left to right, up, down, you're gonna feel 100% immersed in this 4K transfer. The sound is top notch. Deep, bassy crunch, the roar of the Batmobile. You're gonna feel like you're there with them. I ain't even gonna lie to you. There we have it, people, a damn near reference disc, damn near reference sound, damn near reference HDR. Beautiful looking transfer. This is a very, very easy 4K showcase. The fact that it's full screen as well only adds to the 4 k if you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna catch you soon.